so now it's time to start rigging the gun and uh, I have actually prepared a, a scene we can use for that so it's just a scene containing the gun model and it's located here in in course files and section 2 and lecture 2.2 and gun model so let's just go ahead and open this and as we can see it's just an empty scene with the gun model the first thing we want to do is make sure that the model is centered and that all the transforms has been applied so we can do that by selecting the gun oh and by default i think the default is left click select but i'm a bit weird so i prefer <laughs> i prefer the right click select and if you want to use right click or left click you can go to edit and preferences and then go to to key map here on the left side and we can actually choose which which we want to use for the selection so if you prefer left click you can choose left click uh, i prefer right click so <laughs> i'm going to keep it right but you can choose whichever one it doesn't really matter and we can just close that right so the first thing we want to do is select the gun and go to the object properties here and we want to make sure that it's all set to zero the location and the rotation should be set to zero and the scale should be set to one so if, if the scale is set to something like this for example uh, that's no good it should be it should be set to one and to make sure that it's set to one we need to apply apply the transforms and it, in this case it's not needed but it, in some cases it might be needed so you can do that by pressing Control a and then choose apply all transforms and that's just going to center it and set the scale to one and we also want to make sure that the 3d cursor is set to the center as well so if the 3d cursor is over here for example or over here that's that's not good it should be center and we can do that by pressing shift s and then choosing cursor to world origin this one there we go now it's centered all right and let's start adding some bones and start rigging it so we can st start doing that by pressing shift a and choosing armature and this is gonna create a huge bone <laughs> A really big bone in the middle of the scene here in the at the 3d cursor location So let's switch to the side view by pressing numpad 3 and Also switch to edit mode By pressing tab and We can also enable some things here to make it a bit easier to see the bone so go to this one object data properties and then go to viewport display and let's enable names, axis, and in front. So now we can see the bone always. It's always gonna be in front of the mesh. And we can also see the, the location and the direction it's pointing, right? Which is very useful. So let's just select the bone here at the top and drag it down. And let's rotate it so we want it to be rotated so that this point is over here so select the bone and type in r and then negative 90 and press enter all right so now the bo bone is pointing forward and we can now align it with the gun so we can scale it down a bit more and I usually keep the bone around here, so somewhere around this area on the weapon. Um, you could place it anywhere, really, but I think this is the best spot because it gives like a really nice rotation. So let's just keep it somewhere around here. That's pretty good. And now we can see that the orient orientation of the bone is a bit off. Uh, Z should be up and it's currently down 
So let's fix that by going here to the bone properties. And we can see that the roll value here is a, is a bit off. And by ch if we want to change the rotation, we can actually just change the roll value. So let's set that to zero. And there we go. Now it's pointing Z up, which is correct. X is left and right. And Y is forward, as it should be. All right. And let's also rename the bone here. So let's call this one uh, gun root. We could also call it root or just main main or something like that. Just, just so you know which bone it is. Doesn't really matter what it's called. And let's go ahead and duplicate this one. So press Shift D. And this is going to be the slide bone. So this is going to be the bone controlling the, the upper slide part here. So let's rename it to slide. And we can keep it some, well, around the middle here. Doesn't really matter. And let's duplicate the root bone again and call this one mag. And this is going to be the bone for the magazine here. So we can just move it down a bit and rotate it. And we can try to align it with the, the mag so that when we move the bone, the mag moves the same direction as the bone is pointing, which is very useful when animating. So we can make it kind of move out perfectly out of the weapon. And we can compare compare the points here with the mag. And I think it's pretty, it's pretty good. And, and this is going to be the pivot here. So the, the rotation for the mag, the mag bone is actually going to be at this point right here. And if we go into post mode, we can actually see that when we select the bone, this is going to be the pivot. So when we rotate the bone, it's going to be from the middle. And it's not going to be down here, it's going to be in the middle. And that kind of goes for all bones. So it's always going to be at the, at the end here, the rotation, right? So that, that's a good thing to keep in mind when we're kind of placing out the bones, that the rotation is actually from this part and not from the front. So if you want the weapon to rotate uh, from over here, for example, then you need to place this part over here. And let's also go ahead and rename the armature here. So we can call it, um, let's call it gun rig. All right, and now we have created all the bones for the gun. And the next thing we want to do is we want to parent the bones to the correct bones. So, <laughs> so the slide bone should be parented to the, the root bone. The mag bone should also be parented to root, the root bone. So let's switch to edit mode and select the slide bone and the mag bone by holding down shift and then select the root bone and press control P and then choose keep offset. And that's going to parent these, these two selected bones with the root bone. And we can go here, go to bone properties and the relations and we can see if it's uh, properly connected here, which it is. And we can also check up here and see if the hierarchy looks good, which it does. So now if, if we move the gun root, we can actually see that they're all following, which is very nice. And the next thing we want to do is we want to add some vertex groups and make the bones actually move the different parts of the model. Because currently if we move this one, it doesn't move anything. So we want the bone to actually move the model itself. And we can do that by selecting the model and then selecting the rig as well by holding down shift and then press alt P, whoops, not alt P, control P and then choose set parent to armature deform with empty groups. 
and that's all automatically going to create some vertex groups for us which we can find over here and and vertex groups are basically it just kind of tells blender which bone should move which part of the model right and now by default these are not going to be assigned to anything so if we move the bones it's it's still not going to move anything because we need to manually assign these and we can do that by by going to edit mode select the model first and go to edit mode and then choose uh, vertex select in the top left and we can choose okay so let's let's start with the slide so select the slide vertex group and then we want to select the parts of the model that we want to move with this bone so let's choose this one this one and this one I think that's pretty good yep and with these selected let's go to the vertex groups and press assign so we have now assigned uh, these vertices to this bone and let's do the same for the ma uh, mag bone as well and let's assign it and let's do the same for the gun root so just select the entire mesh that is not the mag or the slider I'm using L by the way. You can you can use L to select uh, connected vertices. So just press L, hover over and press L. It's pretty useful. Um, I think I missed a part. No. And then just with with the gun selected, go to vertex groups and press assign. And now we can test it. So we have now assigned all the bones to the vertices. So now if we move the bones, they should be working. Yep. It seems to be working fine. Um, they're all following correctly, as far as I can tell. All right. That's perfect. So we have now parented the mesh to the, the rig and it's now following correctly. And we can rotate it, we can move it, and it's gonna work. Um, and an, another cool thing we can do to make it even easier to work with this is we can add some constraints to the slide bone. So we can actually kind of limit its location so it only moves like this. And this is going to make it a lot easier when animating because we don't want it to move like sideways or up and down and we kind of want to restrict it so it only moves like this right so select the slide bone in post mode and go to bone constraints and add a limit location and we can use this to basically tell blender how much this bone is allowed to move. So let's first check all the boxes here. And it's going to pop down here. That's fine. Let's set the owner space to local space like this. And now if you try to move it, it's not going to move at all because it's all set to zero, which is, it makes sense. It, it can't really move. So we, we still wanted to move wanted to move on the y-axis so we wanted to be able to move back on the negative y-axis so let's set the minimum to not the minimum the maximum yep to negative point fifteen um, 
That was a bit too much. Okay, so after some testing here, <laughs> I realized that we need to set the minimum y to a negative value, and the maximum should be at zero. So let's set the minimum y to negative 0.15. And now if we try to move it, we can notice that it actually doesn't move, move past this point, which is perfect. All right. And now we are actually finished with the gun rig. Um, we will be adding some more finishing touches in the next part and make it a bit more uh, nicer looking. Um, but yeah, for now this is, this is finished and uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. <laughs>